Hello and welcome. In this one, we are having a little look at the Pacific Drive demo. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. I like the environment, nice, very nice. Is this order form address JS Express? Stay on the road. Olympic Pulling uh, 1998. That's the car. Save of the barrier wall. This is us. Let's go then. Turn this music off for a while.
Where are we? We inside the the exclusion zone. Like a portal. The Olympic exclusion zone, yeah. So a little walk. Is that my the wheel of my car? Sprint a little bit. That's the engine. Shit. Dismantle the car. Transportation. Hold down, crouch, crouch. It's not a toggle. Jump. Jump. Block, block. Ah, for the kick, kick it. Oh, someone out there? Yep. Oh, uh, what a swan! I'm here. Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years God, ago. Talking. <laughs> this is the famous car that I'm going to live in for a while. Put the wheel back on. Oh, there we go. Get in it. Go play. Start the engine. Put it on. It's, a, it's a automatic American car. Oh, the signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, safety. located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here! Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. It's me. It's sucked in the wall. Hey, we got a live one! Hey, do you copy? I ain't got a radio, mate. Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. Yeah. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean... They're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No oh, one's gotten into the zone in ages the and we can tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, Something this cool. one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, yeah. and be quick about it. 50% done. 90, 100. Put this back. Fuel in the fucking car first. Is that it? You get no more. Spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. Yeah, 
know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's been working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is ready or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, yeah, baby. Can. Get out of there, man. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Now, I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. This way, yeah. This is lights on. Fucking well, come on. Citation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's ten years and seventeen volumes. And give that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So, another breach, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that three hundred meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Blueprint. Ah, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. To the right we have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Pry bar. And the crowbar in English. Open or a trunk if you're American. Plastics, road flare, more plastic. Search the dumpster. Crooch items, blah blah blah. Let's 
grab the abandoned cars, wheel, panels, and doors. Collect the bits. Everything. Craft the crew door. Get rid of that. It's a workbench. Crew door. Craft. Nice one. Stick it on the car. Boom. Yes. Get the repair putty from the locker. Yeah, they repair everything, yeah? Use repair putty to repair the car. Scan the tire. Flat. Need a spare tire. Place. A spare tire. We use repair kit. See my tire in here. That on. Boom. Look at that. Scan the loose wheel. Equip the mechanics kit. This wheel. Square done. Beautiful. What's that? Install cobble boxes in the trunk. I can do that. Craft mat. Nice. 
Oh, oh. <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Boom. That's the mapping sheet, yeah? This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Okay. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Download crafting blueprints. Pick up the, ge the gear blueprint for the front garage door. There. Car with the charging station in the parking bay and throw the switch to charge the battery. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. <laughs> What's this? This is the zone within these borders. All matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. So, may have explained well, there's only one way to go, isn't there? I mean, you can't quit nowhere else. Off you go. Off we go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Off we go, okay. Turn it on. You can turn it on first. And drive your automatic fucking car. Get on the road. Turn left. Let's go. Thank you. 
Boom. That was quick. JCT E5. Radio station resident tool. Are you ready? Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Just Both are me. always accompanied by plasma generators. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. This is one, yeah? Plasma generator. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Impact hammer. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Blueprint. Hammer. Scrap metal, gas cylinder. We'll find yeah. those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd, uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. Robert what did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Assembly impact hammer, crows, blah blah blah. Ah, crafting mat. Fine materials. Okay, there we go. Smash the shit out of me. Nice man. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. 
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time oh, it materialized yeah. as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. That's me. I've got to go all the way around here, yeah? Follow the road. Flash in there. Check some out real quick. Materials and crap replacement parts. Get plasma. Okay. For replacement parts, at least did too. Oh, let me remove these shit ones and make better ones. Got the door. I'll get ya. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. So if I run at him. Let's get the uh thing out. Let's fucking run! Run for it! Come in! Deactivate that bitch, take that. This one there. stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Salvage. Dead. 
own building they wanted for him. Oh shit! My, my! Where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology. The maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. inside so hard this folks Plastic scrap. Pressure card to use gas in there. Oh, 
Remote replacement kit. Got no room for it. shit in the back. Beautiful reverse. down that way. Just check. I think we're gonna have to uh, interact with that man. Shit, that thing. Radio stations up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. You talk to that man. That man again. Mr. 
just me. Anything looks like it? No. No. It is. Oh, what's so? that? What is it? Tell me if it's radiation outside.
Christina, how are you? So, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now that they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness and um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogues each and every one. Oh, we were quite, quite right about the thing too. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Someone touched on it. We've got plenty of data on that. We're going to be playing for a position more than uh, I've done my review. It's a great time being contracted here for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time. So you touch him. Oh god, there's one outside. Uh -oh. Getting a little turned around, newbie. The Arc device map will give you a better look at the area. Really? Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone that you asked for directions. Letter fragment. Died to know. Dear Maggie, once again I'm assuming the kids are not you, so... Oh, it moves around your ship.
absolutely fuck road in here. Should we just carry it on? Oh well, let's go then.
unplug this mouse. There we go. What's that? Scan it. Broadcast transmitter. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Thank you very much. We should rob everything I can. Okay. Use your device map. Dog I enjoy the anchor side. See more. I drive one kilometer to charge it, that's what it's telling me. The arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. What the fuck's an anchor site? What are these?
go this way. We're gonna go round. Dangerous drug grotesque things are one of the house of bizarre new geological phenomena. The local occurred in response to ground vibration. Ah, uh, one bit this was this.
got a fee the anchor with the off the boats and just threw the fucking thing. device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. I'm ready. Am I right? 
just the right way. into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Yeah, we're good. What do I need? Signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Oh. 
call my teams. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Just checking the damage. We're all right. shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look, after you're done peeping through my no, garage. the end of that. I think I'm going to buy this game. I'll enjoy it. I think. I think it'd be cool. So, bug, subscribe, and all that shit. Till next time. Yeah, in a bit.